Hi. Now in this question, we're told that a teacher asked a random sample of 10 students to record the number of hours of television tea they watched in the week before their mock exam. She then calculated their grade G in their mock exam and the results are summarised as follows. So you've got the sum of T, which is 258, sum of T squared 8702, sum of G equals 63.6 and SGG equals 7.864 and the sum of GT equals 1550.2 and we've got to find STT and SGT. And then in part B we've got to go on to calculate to three significant figures the product moment correlation coefficient between T and G. So if this is a question you'd like to uh, try, just give you a moment or two to pause the video. Okay, well, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, how do we go about finding STT and SGT? Well, normally in your textbook or formula book, you'll have a formula for the variables SXY. It will normally say SXY equals sigma of xy, the sum of xy in other words, minus sigma x multiplied by sigma y all divided by n, n being the number of observations. And this is a formula that, as I say, you should be familiar with and if not, I'd encourage you to learn it. Now we can use this formula then to work out STT because when it comes to working out STT all I've got to do is compare it with this and you can see that I'm replacing the X with a T and the Y also with a T. So what this equals is sigma, the sum of what would have been XY is now sigma TT or sigma T squared and then we've got minus sigma t times sigma t again. So we've got sigma t all squared. So just put that in, sigma t all squared, and it's divided by n, the number of observations. So when it comes to this part, we just got to fill in our values. Sigma t squared then is 8702. And then we subtract sigma t all squared, so that's 258 all squared, and it's divided by the number of observations, which for this question is 10. We have a random sample of 10 students, so we'll divide that by 10. And if you work this out on your calculator, you find you get 2045.6. Okay? Well, that's STT. Now we just need to go on and work out what SGT is. So SGT is going to equal, well again looking at this formula here you can see that the X is now replaced with a G and the Y is replaced with a T. So we get Sigma GT here. Sigma GT and then minus sigma g times sigma t, sigma g times sigma t, and that's all divided by the number of observations n. So filling our values in again, sigma g t we're told is 1550.2, 1550.2, and then minus sigma g, which is 63.6, and we multiply that with sigma t, which is 258, and divide this by 10. And again, working this out on your calculator, you should find you get minus 90.68. Okay? Now in part B, we've got to calculate to three significant figures the product moment correlation coefficient between t and g. Now again, we should be familiar with the product moment correlation coefficient. It's given by the letter R. And if you look in your formula book or textbook, it would normally be given in terms of the variables X and Y. It will say it's SXY over the square root of 
SXX multiplied by the square root of SYY. Or you could have it all under one square root, so that's SYY. Makes no difference. So again, a formula that you should be familiar with. So we just box that as so. And uh, how do we use this now in our question? Well, we're trying to work out that product moment correlation coefficient r, and it's going to be equal to what would have been sxy. But again, we're just replacing the x with, say, t, and the y with g, or the other way around. It doesn't make any difference. So what we're going to have here is sgt all divided by the square root of SGG multiplied by STT. And it's just a question now of putting our values in. So for SGT, we worked it out here as minus 90.68. And we're dividing this then all by the square root of SGG, which we were given up here was 7.68. 864 and we multiply this with STT which we worked out over here as 2045.6. Work this out on your calculator and you get a negative number minus 0.7149 and so on. And we're told to give this to three significant figures. So to three significant figures, it's going to be minus 0 0.715 to 3SF. All right, so I hope you've got that and were able to follow my working.